Hi there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com and today we're going to be talking about how to master reset your T-Mobile HTC G1. This is the original T-Mobile Android phone and let's talk about why you would want to go ahead and do a master reset on a phone like this. Maybe you're getting ready to give it to somebody else maybe you're looking to donate it or maybe you'd like to sell it to somebody or a service like ours we do cell phone recycling and we also buy and sell cell phones so let's not waste any more time we need to go ahead and first unlock the screen when the phone is in the closed position you can press the menu key twice and then here from the app tray at the bottom of the screen we're gonna just touch that and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and select the icon that says settings. It looks kind of like a tool and a hammer and a wrench. So we're going to touch that. Then we have some options here. We're going to scroll down this list to where it actually says SD card and phone storage. Then we'll touch that. And now we have an option at the bottom of the screen here which says factory data reset. We want to touch that. Now here we have a warning that just reminds us that the reset will erase any information from your Google account, any downloads, um, files that you have. So before we do this, you'll want to make sure that you've backed up your email, your contact list, any photos are stored over to your memory card as well as text messages. And once you've gone ahead and done that, then we're ready. We're now going to touch reset phone. And we have one last warning here that just telling us this is going to erase everything. We're going to go ahead and touch erase everything. And now the screen will go blank. The phone is shutting down. It just vibrated. It's now come back up and it here says T-Mobile G1. So while we're waiting for this to completely reset, let's talk a little bit about Cell Seattle and what we do. Basically, um, we're here to make sure that cell phones stay out of landfills. Believe it or not, in the world there's about 500 million cell phones that have been retired that need to be disposed of and when they're thrown in the garbage they contribute toxic chemicals things like arsenic lead mercury these leak into the landfills and then into our drinking water and we don't want to see that happen so if you have a few old phones in a drawer somewhere collecting dust why don't you pull them out come on over to sellseattle.com find out what they're worth it doesn't matter if you live in Washington State, as long as you're in the United States, we can send you a kit and we can help you earn some dollars for yourself or for your favorite charity. And definitely make sure that cell phones do not get thrown away. So here we are, the phone is almost completely reset. We're back up to the Android screen. And again, this was the very first Android phone. Not a lot of people know that. It's an excellent phone. The screen snaps up here. We've got the full QWERTY keyboard. You've got your dialing keys here. This one has a little trackball for navigation. And here we are, back at the main Android screen. Now, in order to use the phone, you do need a Google account. If you don't yet have one, you can set one up during the activation process and we can get past this right now we're just going to tap the corners of the screen and actually let's just touch the little android guy we can skip all these steps um, and it is now prompting to log into the g gmail account so this phone is now completely reset and ready for a new user to go ahead and pop their sim card in there and that actually leads me to my last tip. If you are getting rid of a phone, if it is a GSM phone like this one, if you use it with T-Mobile or AT&T, make sure that you remove your SIM card prior to sending it in. Um, that will protect your personal information, your phone numbers, contacts, things like that. But the SIM card just goes right here underneath the battery and it just slides right out. It's this little piece of plastic that you can then put it in your new phone if you've upgraded to save your info. If not, you can just cut it in half and throw it away. So that has been the procedures on how to master reset a T-Mobile Google phone, the original G1, and we've done that via the menus. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please join us later at CellSeattle.com and have yourself a great day.